Hi everybody, this is Sebastian at Goggs Campaway in Mankato, Minnesota. Today we're taking a look at the Jayco J Flight SLX 8 242 bunkhouse. One thing you're going to notice right here in the front is the automatic tongue jack and your propane tanks. And we do give a complimentary battery in which will sit in this battery holder right here. Because we know how much it sucks when you go to buy something and you still have to buy additional parts for it to even function. Much like my son's Batman toys. Alright. So we have a pass-through storage which is very large. I, I'm going to put my elbow in here. And I mean I, I still got room to my fingertips. So it's, it's very good sized. And pretty wide. It does have manual uh, landing jacks there. You do have a power awning which goes from where I am standing right now. Which is pretty much the front of the camper. Almost towards the entire back. With speakers located underneath, you have your um, your TV mount, your TV output, and a place to plug in. You have your furnace. Your low point drain is here on the front. And then you got your nice outside kitchen, which has a drawer, plenty of countertop space, and a sink. It is stationary. It does not pull out. And a mini fridge. Okay. As we walk around to the back, you're going to realize that you have your water heater, your 30 amp, and your spare tire back here. Now with all Jayco tires, they are Goodyear tires. And what that means for you is they have the 87 mile power speed test rating. So you're less likely to have that big blown out tire on the road. Here's your TV input, your gray and black tank here on the bottom. You have a low point drain, city water connection, and outside shower. Okay. And this is the back side of your pass-through storage. Now with all Jayco products, it does have an integrated A-frame, which means your frame does not hit this metal bar and stop. This goes actually all the way through to the side rail and connects there, which creates a stronger hold on the frame. It's better well built and is going to last a lot longer. All right, so we step up and in into this 242, and right off your right-hand side, you have the bedroom which has a good amount of storage. You got your hers and hers closet with above the head storage and underneath storage as well in which you'll find your landing drink, uh, landing gear, crank, and your plug-in for your 30 amp. This is spring-loaded. You can tell they are brand new springs. Very good ones too. This is wired for solar. Does not currently have solar in it, but it is wired for solar and you do have a TV mount and plugins right there. It does have two pocket doors, which creates a good amount of privacy. And here we go to the kitchen where you have a place to put your shoes, your boots, you have your drawers, okay? And then you have your underneath storage. You got two, a double-sided sink because my grandma always taught me that you should always have your clean dishes on one side, dirty dishes on the other, because you do not have a dishwasher. Okay. You have your three burner stove top and your oven. You have a microwave with a light and fan underneath. Decent sized microwave. And above the sink storage. It's nice that you're able to see outside while using your sink and washing the dishes. I love nothing more than being able to wash the dishes and look outside. You have a 12 volt fridge and freezer. Why that is important is you can have this while you're hooked up to your vehicle going down the road safely. You can be at a gas pump safely and have it turned on. All your food is gonna remain cool and chilled. And you actually get extra room by removing the coils. So you have more storage space in general. It's very deep. Here you have your bunks, which hold 300 a piece. Here's your bottom bunk. It does have an exit window. Top bunk does not have an exit window, but it does at least have a window. Okay. Each of them have their own private curtains. So this way, if you got kids that are trying to sleep, take a nap, they can do what they got to do. And a very good size pantry. Check that out. Tons of storage space. Storage space underneath the dinette set. This is the U-shaped dinette, so if you just want to create this into like a, a sitting space, you're able to take out the table, set it outside, 
and have just a nice relaxed place to sit. Obviously the legs come out with it. You do have lights underneath. Go into the bathroom where you have this massive, insanely large shower, a good size commode, and your vanity with storage. Now don't mind me while I sit on your can here quickly. So as you see, good amount of storage. It does not have a medicine cabinet, but it does come with a mirror. There's your plug-ins. And check out the size of the shower. Plenty of places to put your shampoo bottles. And you're going to pass the elbow test with ease. Elbow test. Feeling good. Got plenty of room to go. I'm 6'1". I still got room above me. So for the guys that are 6'4", 6 6'3", 6 you're golden. We do have a rooftop AC. We always have rooftop ACs on our new units here at Gog's Camp Away. We think it's very important to have a rooftop AC over a wall AC. If you guys have any questions or concerns at all, um, in, or you're interested in buying it, feel free to call us at 507-345-5858. My name is Sebastian, and I'd be happy to help you.